So Main Street Chestertown is part of a national network of Main Streets. Uh, Main Street America is actually based out of Chicago and under the auspices of the uh, National Historic Trust. And so the uh, whole purpose of a Main Street is to keep the downtown of a town thriving and uh, a great place to live, work, and play uh, because it was realized, especially in kind of the 70s and 80s, that the small towns downtown where it was really the heartbeat of the town. And it was starting to get lost at that time. And so there was a concerted effort to establish these nonprofits so that those downtowns, which usually house the historic districts of a town, the main commercial districts of a town, the main entertainment and event spaces of a town uh, could not be lost and would really thrive. And so, especially for Chestertown, we feel like our downtown really is the identity of the town. And so anything we can do to keep it thriving, to support the business owners, to work on its infrastructure, and to protect the history as well. You know, we take being under things like the National Trust very seriously and want to make sure our historic buildings uh, are maintained. So we, uh, in Maryland, the Main Street Maryland program is run by the Department of Housing and Community Development. So that's where we're actually receiving most of our um, funding. We can. We also, of course, apply for grants all over the place, like any nonprofit does, and rely on uh, donor dollars as well and, and corporate sponsorships. Um, but the Department of Housing and Community Development, at least in Maryland, is really our, our sort of mothership, if you will. They are. They're very supportive. Uh, they regularly come out and visit us here in Chestertown, which is sometimes a hike for people. Um, we have great sort of sister main streets nearby. There's a main street program in Centerville and there's a main street affiliate in Rock Hall. And so we have great partnerships sort of amongst us as well to, to support each other and um, you know share funding sources. Um, Lori Walters, who's the uh, manager in Rock Hall and I have lunch about once a month. We go back and forth between Rock Hall and Chestertown, um, check in with each other about events so we can help promote each other's. Um, check in with each other about funding, uh, even if it's just minor resources like borrowing tables, you know, we're, we're happy to do it for each other. What is coming up? Well, event-wise, um, you know, tis the season, so we have quite a bit coming up. Uh, first probably is the, um, well, there's a ladies' night out November uh, 16th next week, so uh, put that on your calendar. But um, then we get into the holidays. So the King County uh, Holiday Parade is the day after Thanksgiving. It's that evening, fi um, Friday uh, at 5.30 p.m. on High Street. And that's really become a fun event. You know, we moved it to the evening and people have seemed to really embrace it and throw a bunch of lights on their vehicles and, and really get into it. And of course, Santa arrives at the end of that parade. So it's very exciting. Um, Shop Small Saturday is the next day, and we really love to promote that just because, you know, our our backbone here in Chestertown is the mom and pop businesses, and so we want people to really support those. Uh, and then we move right into things like Dickens of a Christmas, which is everybody knows and loves. Um, the bonfires and carriages come out, and we celebrate uh, as only a, you know, Victorian town can do. Um, and then we have some smaller things that happen after that. Um, we'll be lighting a menorah on December 8th for the first night of Hanukkah. Um, you'll see that about town. Um, the a &E district will host an art walk the third weekend in December. Um, and of course, Santa will be in his house and, and other things will be happening. So one thing that became very apparent to Main Street quite a few years ago, but we're really putting into implementation now is having a downtown master plan. For a long time, both ourselves and uh, community organizations that we partner with felt like we were sort of throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what stuck, right? We were, a lot of us were doing one-off projects or small-scale projects, uh, and those are fantastic, but don't really set us up for the long term. And so it was especially addressed in the recent town um, council's strategic agenda that they just passed this winter. And if you look at it, it actually addresses a downtown master plan and sort of what that could yield. Uh, and so we knew that uh, you know all, all layers of the town were looking at having something like that. And so um, that plan would identify those challenges or those opportunities 
and help us put into place the funding and the partners and the resources we would need. And I say we, as in the royal we, right? The town, the nonprofits, the businesses um, to make something like that happen so that we are set up for the next, you know, 40 years um, to make sure we're, you know, and it could be anything from um, hopefully burying those electric wires all the way to how do we make some things more pedestrian friendly. It could be um, stormwater and uh, river resiliency. Um, you know, it's gonna touch all sorts of things and hopefully kind of coalesce into a, a grand master plan um, that we can then implement. Yeah, so it, right now we're actually in the process. We have a RFQ out to hire a firm to help us through this. Um, there's no way we are qualified or, you know, have the know-how to do all of this ourselves. So we wanted to do this responsibly and hire a consulting firm that would help us. Um, and so that consulting firm, at least initially, will start with what we're calling phase one. And that phase one will be that visioning and that community input and that partner input and data gathering um, so that at the end of that phase one in a year or so, we'll have that vision of what we're working towards and that sort of 5,000 foot level of what the projects may look like. Um, phase two would be drilling down those projects, putting them in order of magnitude and in, you know, in kind of importance and immediacy, uh, looking at some potential funding sources, who is best suited to carry out these projects, things like that, and then phase three, uh, God willing, will be um, the implementation of some. We're so fortunate to live in a community where many, many people want to help and want to make it better. We all, I think, live here, in, at least in Chestertown, because we choose to and we want to, and that means the public is very engaged. There's lots of volunteerism. There's lots of nonprofit organizations. Um, so let's all get on the same roadmap um, so that we're all, you know, towing the towing the boat in the same direction. Um, and, I, and a lot of people have hungered for that actually for a long time so that they're also not putting their resources where it won't be sustainable long-term.